Good afternoon, church. This is Pastor Kara Knudsen. It is Thursday, May 7th, and this is our Faith Five. Um, today, I am grateful for a specific person and the work he does in um, studying infectious disease. Uh, a friend of mine posted a Facebook video um, that the um, Synod in Minneapolis uh, invited Dr. Michael Osterholm from the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy, which is part of the uh, University of Minnesota. And he talked about um, the virus from his experience as um, working with infectious diseases throughout his entire career. He founded this organization, who, which nickname is SIDRAP, and uh, he has worked with um, lots of different public health organizations. He's worked as an advisor to several presidential um, groups. And uh, he's committed and dedicated to public health. And uh, he's from Iowa, so he's an Iowa boy. And what I really like about him is his just straight talking, no nonsense, uh, this is the information that uh, we need to know. So I would encourage all of you to um, check his stuff out. The uh, email address is cidrap.umn.edu. And uh, I think the thing that I got most excited about with his presentation is that uh, we have a unique opportunity as Christians, as church, as uh, a community that is um, devoted to kindness and compassion and ministry to uh, take up very important work. Uh, I really have been convinced that uh, this COVID-19 is going to be with us for the long haul, that it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, and that we're only just beginning this experience. Uh, but in the midst of all of this, there has never been more of a need for people to practice kindness, to remind one another of the goodness of human people, to share God's love in a world that most desperately needs it. Uh, and that is something that I believe that we as church are uniquely qualified to do. So that is what I'm grateful for today, is uh, his work, his willingness to share this information, and his charge for all of us to practice kindness. So pick up the phone, um, hop on your computer and talk with someone, um, you know, write, sit down and write a letter to someone, but practice kindness in these days. And I think that is going to be a, uh, as important um, to happen as even a vaccine, uh, that we can practice this kindness as a type of vaccine for the human spirit that we can attend to and minister to. So that being said, our reading today is from Acts chapter two, verses 42 through 47. They devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and fellowship to the breaking of bread and, of pr and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. So, um... I think this is the early church at its finest. Uh, 
you know, holding all things together in common and, uh, you know, selling all they had and putting it into one big pot and giving to people as they need um, would be pretty challenging in today's society. Um, but I think that we can approach the spirit of the early church in what we do with the gifts and resources that God has given us. Like I said earlier, practicing kindness. Uh, people in our congregation have stepped forward and said, you know, if you hear of someone who's struggling, um, you know, who's having financial difficulties, uh, let me know. You know, I want to help. Uh, that's the kind of thing that the early church is talking about, is that spirit of, of sharing our gifts and our, our um, blessings from God with those who need a little help. Because... In this life, we're all going to come to a point in time where we need some type of help from someone, whether it's financial, emotional support, prayer support, uh, guidance. And when we all are invested in caring for one another, uh, when I care for you, I know that there's going to be someone that can care for me, too, as well. So this morning, or this afternoon, sorry. I want to pray for all of us um, that we can invest ourselves in one another, that we can look for and find and that God would present opportunities for us to practice kindness and compassion and love and that um, the Holy Spirit would continue to move through these times and uh, bring us new and creative and innovative ways of being church together, even in the midst of maybe some of the most frightening times we've ever experienced. So let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day and we thank you for the opportunities within it. Bring to us moments and, and people who we can bestow compassion upon to practice kindness. God, in this time of physical distancing, I know that my spirit just leaps when I have the opportunity to engage in even just casual conversation with another fellow human being. And I thank you for all those who have bestowed kindness upon me, who didn't even know me. Thank you, God, for the goodness of people. And I just ask that the Holy Spirit would inoculate all of us with the spirit of kindness that we could bestow upon a world that is so hungry, so scared and lonely, and so desperately needing to be reminded of the goodness and kindness and grace in this world. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. You are a child of God created in God's own image, named, blessed, claimed, and given a job to do. So go forth and do it. Amen.